Just a week before the crucial presidential election in Sri Lanka, President Mahinda Rajapaksa suffered yet another blow in the form of 26 defection of a parliamentarian from his party to the opposition ranks. Achila Jagoda of the ruling coalition, the United People's Freedom Alliance, joined Sri Sena in the endless stream of defection. Battling a flurry of defection and accused of sending troops to the Tamil-dominated northern region to prevent them from voting in January 8 polls, Rajapaksa has appealed to the minority community to trust him and vote for his party. Rajapaksa, who is running for an unprecedented third term for the top post has called the elections two years ahead. Addressing a rally in Badula, the president claimed credit for defeating Tamil Tiger separatist rebels after a bloody 30-year conflict. Not only during war, even in natural disasters like we have now, the military came forward to protect the nation and took charge to protect the country. When there is a threat to irrigation tanks, they work 24 hours without sleep to repair the tanks. That's how the three armed forces have been trained. Within days of announcing the election, senior members of his own party began to defect to the opposition and to the surprise of many, the opposition nominated his health minister and general secretary of the biggest party in the ruling alliance, Maitri Palasri Sena, as their candidate. Political parties representing the crucial minority Muslim community also defected to the opposition and the Tamil National Alliance, which represents a large minority group, also announced its backing for Sri Sena. He created a hugely corrupt rule in this country. Mr. Mahinda Rajapaksa is saying today that without him there will be political instability. Without him the war will come back. Without him the LTT will re-emerge. This is a fantastic position. Then Mr. Mahinda Rajapaksa will have to be there for another hundred years because with anyone else there will be war. The Tamil National Alliance won over 85% of the vote and routed Rajapaksa's ruling coalition in September 2013 provincial election. A low Tamil turnout is expected to help the incumbent in the direct contest between him and Sri Sena. Asia Desk, TD News.